In this lecture, let's learn how we can create a standalone component in Angular by migrating a standard component to a standalone component. For that, let's go to this source folder. There, let's go to this app folder. In this app folder, we have this home component. And there, we also have this detail component. So let's first convert this detail component to a standalone component. Currently, this component is not a standalone component. It is a standard component, a regular component. And we want to convert it to a standalone component. Now, to make a regular component a standalone component, all we have to do is the metadata object which we are passing to this at component decorator. There, we can specify one more property called standalone and we can set it to true. By default, this standalone property will be false. So if you don't set it, by default, it will be false. But if you want to make a component, a standalone component, you have to set it to true. And now this component can be used in another components without declaring it in an ng module. Although you still need to make Angular aware about this standalone component. So here, if we save the changes and if we go to our application, you will see that here we have an error. And it says component detail component is standalone and cannot be declared in an ng module so since we have made this detail component a standalone component we cannot declare it in ng module so the next step is from the ng module so we are declaring this component this detail component in app module here and since we have made this component a standalone component we should not declare it inside this declaration array of ng module. So we need to remove it from here. And let's also remove the import of this detail component. Let's save the changes. And now if we go to our application, you will see that the detail component is not rendered at all. And also if I open developer console, and if you go to console tab, here you won't see any error now the reason the detail component is not rendered here is because angular does not know about the detail component so what we have done is we have made this detail component a standalone component all right but somehow we need to tell angular that we have a component in our project called detail component so that it will be aware about it and it can render it whenever we are using the selector of this detail component we are using the selector of this detail component in the home component so if i open this home component.html there we are using the selector of that detail component but since angular does not know about this detail component because we have removed it from the declarations array angular is not able to render it now what should we do to make angular aware about this detail component this standalone component well, one thing what we can do is we are using this detail component in the home component here. So what we can do is we can go to the home component class and there where we are specifying the metadata object for this at component decorator there we can use another property imports and there we can go ahead and we can import the detail component because here only we want to use this detail component. We want to use this detail component in the home component. So we can import it here. So this is another option which is introduced in standalone components. Now, if I save the changes and if we go to our application, you will see that we have another error. And the error says imports is only valid on a component that is standalone. If I go back, this home component, it is not a standalone component because we have not set the standalone property to true here. So this home component is not a standalone component. And since it is not a standalone component, we cannot use this imports property here. This imports property can only be used on a standalone component. So this approach is not going to work right now because this home component is not a standalone component. Later, when we will make this home component also a standalone component, that time we will use this approach. So for now, I'm simply going to comment this approach here. Now, what should we do to make Angular aware about this detail component? So, as I mentioned in the last lecture, we can also use standalone components along with regular components. We can combine standalone components with ng module. And in ng module, so basically in our app module, 
earlier we were declaring the detail component in the declarations array so we cannot declare it inside the declarations array because we have made detail component as a standalone component but what we can do is we can import this detail component using this import array so in the import array we can go ahead and we can import detail component so this we can do we cannot declare it inside the declarations array but we can import it in the ng module with this if we save the changes and if we go back to our application now you will notice that the detail component has been rendered here and when we click on this button our service is also working but now you will notice that the custom highlight directive which we were using in the detail component for some reason that is not working so if we go to detail component.html there on this div we are using this app highlight directive this highlight directive so it should basically add some background for this div it should add some borders some border radius and some padding but all those things is gone you see we don't have that highlighting style here so for some reason the highlight directive is now not working and the reason the highlight directive is not working anymore is because even if we are using it in the detail component here this component is a standalone component and hence it is decoupled from ng module so again if i go to app module.ts we are importing this detail component now this highlight directive it is declared in the shared module if i open shared module we are declaring and exporting the highlight directive from here so this detail component it is not aware about the shared module even though we are importing highlight module from this shared module inside this app module but this detail component since we have not declared it inside the declarations array it will not have access to the highlight directive which we are exporting from the shared module okay these two will not have any kind of communication between them this detail component will not be aware about the highlight directive which this shared module is exporting okay here both shared module and detail component is imported in app module but detail component is not receiving anything from the shared module and the shared module is the one where the highlight directive is declared so detail component does not know about that highlight directive but somehow we want to use the highlight directive in our detail component we want to use it here right so to make this highlight directive work in a standalone component we have two possible solutions first we can convert this highlight directive into a standalone directive because standalone directives can be imported in any standalone component where we want to use it but let's say that's not an option yet for now we want to declare it in the shared module because we are in the middle of migration process and some other non standalone components are still using it let's assume that so we don't want to convert this directive to a standalone directive right now so this solution we are not going to use right now then what is the other solution well again let's go to detail component and there what we will do is here we will add an imports property so since this detail component is a standalone component here we can use this imports property okay and here we are going to import the shared module because shared module is the one which is exporting our highlight directive so if we import shared module here whatever the shared module is exporting we can import it inside this component and we can use it so here we will simply go ahead and we will simply import this shared module and with this whatever we are exporting from this shared module that will be available in this detail component and as i mentioned earlier you can combine standalone components directives and pipes with ng module just as you need it so that you can have a smooth migration process and now if we save the changes and if we go to our application now you will see that now the highlight directive is also working
one more thing which we can do now is since this shared module is exporting the highlight directive and we are only using that highlight directive in the details component we are not using this highlight directive anywhere else in our angular application we don't need to import this shared module here inside the imports array of ng module because we have already imported this shared module in our detail component where we want to use the highlight directive and since this shared module is not exporting anything else apart from the highlight directive we don't need it anywhere else so from the app module we can go ahead and we can remove this import okay and with that we can also remove this import statement and if we go to our application our application should still be working so the service is still working the directive is there and the detail component is also displayed here so application is working as expected and in this way we have converted this detail component to a standalone component and there we are importing the required building blocks which is required for this detail component for example we are importing this shared module which is exporting the highlight directive which we want to use in this detail component all right now the main reason standalone components was introduced in angular is because we want to get rid of any ng module in our angular application but if we have to import this standalone component in app module like we are doing here so this detail component is a standalone component and we are importing it in the app module then the purpose of standalone component is not served and in fact we are writing more code now because first of all we have simply moved this detail component from the declarations array to imports array and then in the detail component inside this metadata object which we are passing to this at component directive there we have added this extra line of code so here we are not able to fully utilize the feature of standalone component and we have to import this standalone component this detail component in this app module that's because currently we have only one standalone component this detail component and this detail component this standalone component we are using in a regular component we are using it in the home component and that home component is a regular component so if we have all the components as standalone component then we can get rid of ng module but as long as we have at least one regular component we will have to use ng module and in our coming lectures we are going to get rid of all the standard components all the regular components we will convert them to standalone components and we will also convert all our directives and pipes to standalone directives and standalone pipes and after that we can completely get rid of the app module file or any other module file from our angular application so let's move forward and let's try to convert our custom directive and other regular components to a standalone component let's do it in our next lecture this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day